All right, everyone, it's time for Vermont Issues, episode 122. There's a Canadian corporation, Moosehead uh, Brewery, uh, and they're suing a Vermont uh, group that makes a beer called uh, Hoppin' Moose, I believe was the name of it. And uh, it's very frivolous, very ridiculous. Uh, can I ask something here? Uh, why is a Canadian firm uh, suing a U.S. firm? Uh, I would think you would want to keep it within your own. Uh, uh, personally, I don't think there should be any cooperation on such a thing between two nations for the most part, unless it's very explicit infringement. Simply putting a moose uh, in the name of your beer, how does that infringe a copyright? Like, like, is this Canadian firm, is the copyright registered within the U.S. too? Is that it, like they own intellectual uh, property in that form within the United States? If so, I could understand, but simply, uh, it's like uh, if you have a product and the product's logo is like a stylized frog, and I make a product and the, the logo is a stylized frog, that doesn't necessarily mean that I got the idea from you or that anyone's going to misconstrue those two products as related. Uh, there has to be some something beyond the similarity within the category itself. Uh, otherwise, you could say, oh, well, our logo is a bird. Every other logo in the world that has a bird on it is somehow infringing upon our rights as a, as a corporate entity. It doesn't make any sense. And the fact that they would use bird in the title, well, yeah, it's a common term. Why on earth? How can you uh, uh, say, well, any beer that has moose in the title within uh, the name of the brewery, the name of, of the lager, the name of uh, some stout that you've made, uh, how can it possibly all breach your copyright? I've, I believe I've seen beers before that do have moose in the title. Uh, I've say if if that's the case, then half the products you see on the shelves infringe somebody else's copyright. It doesn't make any sense. Like you can only have one beer in the world with a moose on it. I think it's a little bit frivolous. The funny thing is that through the Streisand effect, now this much smaller Vermont brewery uh, is gaining uh, <laughs> potentially more customers because more people will be aware that it exists. Something I think uh, the article said it only serves 15 stores. So this is a real, real small-time family business. Uh, this isn't even on the, it's not even anywhere near the same order as like a long trail ale uh, or something like that. That wouldn't even rise to the same level as like the availability of Hetty Topper, uh, <laughs> which is only available in about a third of Vermont. So keep that in mind. Uh, you have to go up to the Burlington area or Middlebury, that region in order to get it. This is even less available. So we're not exactly talking about a significant corporate entity. Uh, are they really cutting into this Canadian firm's profits? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, you have 15 country stores offer this locally brewed beer. Somehow that's going to uh, really, it's really going to cause a problem. No, I think what's going to happen is that now people are aware that Hop and Moose is a thing and that this Vermont brewery exists. I, I had never heard of it before. Now I have. Thank you, uh, Canadian firm. Canadian corporation is very helpful. I know that there's another beer that I need to try. Uh, one that you're trying to stomp out of existence through legalism. Um, it doesn't make any sense. You're uh, just causing more problems. You know, so, so sometimes what is your legal right is unhelpful anyway. Like, what do they what do they hope to get out of this? Is the uh, reward really worth the risk of causing? What if they lose and their competitor ends up growing, um, and and or they countersued for wasting somebody's time? Uh, I would think that that would be a pretty bad situation. Now you're over there in Canada, so drink Canadian beer. That's you know that's fine, but uh, this is Vermont. This has nothing to do with Canada, so I'm not exactly sure what the problem is. It's just a fucking moose. Get over it. That's about all. Peace out.